Well, welcome everybody to Nottingham. This place just brings back so many memories, of course, not just the Nottingham Arena, but this place where we held press conferences for Carl Froch against Lucien Butte, one of the greatest nights I've ever been a part of, of course, here in Nottingham as well. Lee Wood against Michael Condon, press conference. Again, one of the greatest fights that I think we've ever witnessed on British soil. On Saturday night, I think you might get something even better. Lee Wood against Maurizio Lara for the WBA Super Featherweight title, live on the zone around the world from the Nottingham Arena. Just a tremendous fight. We love a moan, don't we, fight fans? Aren't, aren't me included. We don't get the fights we want. Champions aren't willing to fight the best. Well, on Saturday night, we should be applauding Lee Wood. We should be applauding boxing because around 9,000 fans in a sold-out Nottingham Arena are going to witness a tremendous night for the sport. So much to talk about for the undercard. We've got three stages of this presser before the bell action uh, to talk about before we go on to our championship fights and, of course, the world championship action as well. I'm going to start with you, Junaid, because you've already just off-air told me about four fights you want to be in by the end of June. Um, 20 years of age, you've been so active since you've been part of the matchroom team now. Another big night for you, eight rounds on Saturday night as well. A good opponent who's had good level opposition. Things are getting interesting now. I mean, of course, it's my first eight rounder. Whether it goes eight rounds, that's a completely different thing. So I'm looking at doing a number on this guy and then progressing in my career. Some great performances and some great stoppage victories as well. Last time in Leeds, the guy was super tough and you got him out of there. Is, is that a, a, you know, a deliberate move from you? I mean, we talked once about you've got to have that ability to put your foot on the gas and get these guys out of there. You've been doing that. Every fight's been exciting and, and we should expect the same on Saturday. I mean, funny enough, in the amateurs, I went, no one's the biggest puncher, but then I turn over and I'm knocking everyone out, so I'm not complaining. It isn't deliberate, but you don't get paid for overtime, so if you can get them out of there, why not? Big card on Saturday night, big support for you as well. Possibility of a Sheffield show at the end of April. We'll see what happens on Saturday. You were just asking me to go on the Abu Dhabi card as well. Probably wouldn't be surprised if you were phoning up to get on the Canelo Alvarez card as well. But life is good, but got an international focus and just enjoying the journey so far as you progress into the championship rounds. I mean, if you, if you don't ask, you don't get. So I've got to ask and obviously if you did put me on one of them cards, I won't, I won't complain. Well, I look forward to seeing you back in the ring on Saturday night. Sam Maxwell, Sam, welcome. Um, maybe a surprise addition to many seeing your name pop up, but we know we've been working behind the scenes for a while now. Commonwealth champion, um, a young man by the name of Dalton Smith, of course, on this card. It's no secret that we've been talking about making an all-British fight, British and Commonwealth uh, championship. But first things first, take care of business on Saturday night. Yeah, that's it. I've got a job to do on, um, on Saturday and uh, get through that and then yeah, see, what, see what we can do after that. Obviously, tremendous amateur career as well with Team GB. A, a kind of shock defeat for you in Liverpool as well, but come back, rebuild from there. But a lot of people talking about your potential as a fighter. And a quick word, obviously, if Dalton Smith comes through on Saturday night in a tough fight, that would be a tremendous fight for British boxing between you two. Yeah, definitely, that's a fight I'm interested in, um, the fight I want. And um, yeah, touch wood, we both come through on Saturday and we can, we can get it on. Sam, Sam Maxwell, Commonwealth champion. Looking forward to seeing you in action. Kieran Conway, welcome back. We talk about Canelo Alvarez undercards. You were right in the thick of it uh, in September. Tremendous fight with Ammo Williams. Very close fight that could have gone either way. Great experience for you. Um, now, eight rounds, good opponent, tough opponent to get back to championship action in 2023. Yeah, that's what, that's what it's about. I want to get back now. Um, it's good to be on a card so early in the year, get my foot on the gas and um, get this year to put my career back on track kind of feel like you've always jumped in to those big fights. I mean, it's given you incredible experiences. We talk about Canelo Alvarez undercards. You boxed in front of 70-odd thousand at the Dallas Cowboys Stadium uh, against Suzoko, you know, in another good fight. You had him down on the floor. Ammo Williams fight, very close. Do you think now could be a time just to step back a little bit, take heed and, and all the experience that you've gained over that, those last two years and just rebuild slightly eight rounds for you on Saturday to work on those improvements that you might have learned during that process? Yeah, yeah, um, that's exactly right. I want to use this year to, like you said, rebuild my career, keep all my fights night here, domestic, when I win a British title. Um, I don't care who's got that, I want to go and win that next and um, move back on into the world sort of scene after that. And of course, victory for you over JJ Metcalf, who is now WBA number three. He's on the verge of a big fight in Ireland as well, maybe fighting for the world title. So beating high-level opposition and plenty more to come from Kieran Conway. 
Yeah, I've beat high-level opposition. I've been around high-level opposition. And um, I, I'm just sick of being known as this, like, nice guy in and out of the ring. Now I'm coming here to, to destroy and bring knockouts to the table now. Well, we look forward to seeing that. New Kieran Conway on Saturday night. Of course, the young talent for us is so important. That conveyor belt of British boxing, we need to unearth new talents coming through from the amateur system. Everybody knows about the quality of the signings that we've had over the years from Team GB, which I feel is the perfect stomping ground for a young fighter to progress and as an elite amateur turning professional. And this man on my right, I think he's exactly from that mould. I'm so excited to see Aaron Bowen make his professional debut on Saturday night. Um, a tremendous run in the Commonwealth Games. You are going to love watching this guy fight. He says that every fight is life and death. We want to just take that a little bit slowly, Aaron, you know, especially on these first few. But I remember your performances at the Commonwealth Games, the noise that was there. You got around 400 coming on Saturday just to watch your professional debut. I remember being in the car park in Birmingham. My car nearly got turned over by Aaron Bowen fans that were telling me to sign you. We got you, and the professional debut starts on Saturday night. Yeah, looking forward to it. This is obviously where I want to be, so... Like you say, big following, big fights, and I think that people can get behind me. Those Commonwealth Games were, were interesting, really. You know, I, I was there, and it, it felt like a, a pro fight. I mean, the crowd was loud. The fights were exciting. Every fight that you were in was an absolute war as well. Tell us about the grounding that you've had as an amateur in those events, fighting around the world to prepare you for the big stage. Yeah, I feel like they've given me good experience, you know. This is a big stage, and it's a little bit different, but... Like you say, the pressure that I got off the Commonwealth Games, boxing for GB, traveling the world, I've sort of been there now, so it's given me that little stepping stone, and this isn't too far out of my comfort zone, and at the end of the day, it's just a ring. So, yeah, I feel like it's done me good. And finally, I know what to expect from you. I think a lot of people do. You love to fight, you love to entertain. The fans are going to love it, and there's going to be a lot of excitement ahead. Yeah, I come to fight and I, from the first bar to the last, so... You know, bring a good fight, and I will be looking for the knockout, but get the job done first. Well, good luck on Saturday. Professional debut of Aaron Bowen, one of the top young stars in British boxing, as is this man as well, Janae Boston. Sam Maxwell, the Commonwealth champion, back in action, and Kieran Conway as well. Before the bell action here, we're going to have a picture of these guys, and then we move to the second stage of our press conference. Well, welcome back, and of course, as we move towards the main event press conference for Lee Wood against Maurizio Lara, the WBA featherweight world title, live on the zone on Saturday night from the Nottingham Arena. Some tremendous fights for the main event undercard up here on Saturday night, from British title fights to emerging prospects to key crunch matches in fighters' careers as well. And we go to one of those now, actually, in Gamal Yafai. Gamal, welcome. Um, a big fight for you on Saturday night. Diego Ruiz, who's en route here from the airport right now. Lee Eaton, who somehow ends up managing these dangerous Mexican fighters. We've seen him on this soil before. A good fight for you and a very important fight for your career on Saturday. Yeah, um, look forward to getting in there and um, doing the job. A new training team up with, with Jamie Moore. How's that been for you as well? Look sharp up there, it's completely new surroundings and a big move at this stage in your career. Yeah, um, but I've enjoyed it, it's been good. I uh, feel like I've got some structure now in uh, my life, so I'm looking forward to showing that on Saturday night. Already a lot of championships won in your career, domestic titles, European titles as well. But this, kind of, this fight seems to be the fight to bridge the gap between that and the big world level fights as well. That's what you want. You want to get through Saturday night and jump right deep into the world level. Yeah, um, get Saturday sorted. Um, one more and then get, yeah, get me world, world level, definitely forward to seeing you back in action on Saturday night. One of our top young fighters, Chev Clark, who, by the way, has a really tough fight on Saturday night. I love this fight for you, Chev. Of course, we talked about Dex Bellman. Um, our thoughts with him, obviously, uh, wasn't able to compete this Saturday. But this fight is a very tough fight, a dangerous fight against a very good fighter. We saw him fight Fen Long Meng, who's fought for the world title. That was a fight that could have gone either way but an interesting opponent for you on Saturday night and, and obviously was ready to test yourself against Spellman, but Israel Dufus for you in Nottingham on Saturday. Yeah, it's, um, you know, first and foremost, um, you know, Dex Spellman, that's, that's very bad for him, you know, um, not being able to provide for your family, doing something you've always done, so, you know, I feel sorry for him in that. But, yeah, back to Saturday night, uh, top of, um, tough opposition, and I'm looking forward to putting on a show. 
Everyone's been talking about your performances that have been all action. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like, is, is that what we're going to see from Chef Clark now? As the opposition improves, do we need to be a little bit more cautious or should fans just expect the, the, the same old Chef Clark entertaining huge puncher as well and a real danger man in the division? Um, you know, I don't go out there trying to stop people. I go out there in a box and when the opportunity comes, I take them and if you guys think that's exciting, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. Well, we do. And obviously the domestic division is, you know, full of great fighters. Obviously, Lawrence Akoli, world champion, Richard Riakpour, Chris Billum-Smith, Jordan Thompson with a big fight coming up as well. So many great fights for you in the cruiserweight division. And I start to feel that you and, and the team now are starting to really find your feet in the professional ranks. Yeah, you know, there's plenty of good fights out there, as you say. But, you know, I'm at my stage in my career now. I take on um, Israel on Saturday and then we go from there. Forward to in action. Israel, welcome. Uh, I believe we have a translator if you need it as well. Um, this is a, a great fight for you, always in shape. Uh, you've boxed many world level fighters. Chev, a great amateur with great pedigree as well, but you look in good shape, ready to fight on Saturday. Thank you. Can you hear me? You hear me? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Uh, no, thank you, first of all, for the opportunity, you know, and as you say, I was trying to keep in shape. You never know when the opportunity is going to come in. This is one of those cases. Uh, uh, I hear, I, I, hear I, I get the opportunity to see his, his amateur career, which is, looks uh, very impressive, you know. Um, but he's professional now. It's not the same amateur and professional. That's two different things, so I think... I got a good opportunity on this one. One thing's for sure, you know, as, as good as he is and his amateur pedigree, you've boxed at a much deeper level as a professional and fought some world-class fighters. I also have the opportunity to represent my country uh, back in 2012, 2008 for, uh, for the Olympics. So now we are in the professionals, as I say. So I'm really happy for this. Thank you, Israel. Great fight, Chef Clark against Israel Dufus. And this fight as well, another great fight. Gary Cully, who is fast emerging as one of the top fighters in the 135 pound division against Wilfredo Flores, coming off a big win. Wilfredo, welcome. Uh, Thank you. Huge win for you last time out. Obviously a fighter from New York, very well schooled, massive opportunity for you on Saturday night. Yes, thank you. I'm very excited. I uh, want to thank you and uh, my team for having me here. Uh, for Hopefully, you know, I come out with the victory and gain the fans of London here. Your career, unbeaten as a professional, obviously, fought some decent fighters, but the last one was a step up, big win for you, and really got this opportunity. He's presented himself fighting in front of 9,000 on Saturday night, all around the world on the zone. Massive opportunity for your career. Yeah, I'm excited. This, this is, uh, you know, my opportunity to showcase, you know, who I am to the, to the world, you know, to my fans. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, this is, this is an opportunity that comes with working hard. And, uh, you know, I have a great work ethic. And, you know, it's just embedded in me to, to continue to progress and, and you know, uh, showcase my hard work. And that, that'll lead to the success that I need for uh, this Saturday night. And this man to my right, a lot of people talking about him. I'm sure you've watched him on tape as well. Both fairly inexperienced in terms of championship fights as well. But expect a good fight with Gary Cully on Saturday. Yes, I expect you know him to be to be uh, well prepared and uh, ready to go to war. Um, you know, I am, I certainly am, and you know th this is it's a sport. You know, we very competitive. You know, both him and I both are very competitive fighters, and I'm sure you know we're going to steal the show this Saturday night. Gary, ready to steal the show? Last time out, it was one round. I mean, it was unbelievable action. Uh, a lot of hype around you at the moment, which comes with pressure as well. Tough opponent, I would say the toughest of your career so far and ready to put in a great performance on Saturday. Yeah, definitely. Um, I've, been, I've been gaining a lot of momentum and I'm here. I'm back in Nottingham. It's good vibes for me. I was here last year obviously fighting uh, Miguel Vasquez and 2022 was kind of my breakout year, but I feel like I've been putting in performances like that over my career the last five years. I've fought undefeated guys. I've had my step-ups. I've fought my, uh, my former world champions, all this, and uh, I believe it's a big, big step up for Wilfredo Flores and he's going to be over his depth on Saturday night. You've obviously watched him, a uh, good win for him last time, but you believe Gary Cully much too good 
for this level of opposition on Saturday? Too good, too big, too strong. 2023 is my year. Um, there's lots of talk about going back to Ireland and fighting back at home. It's been a dream of mine to fight back in Ireland ever since I'm a kid, so I've been using that as massive motivation for this camp and to push that a little bit harder. Um, and some big fights come, coming back end of 2023, back at home for me if I get through Saturday night. So, yeah. Yeah, boxing is a sport and business about planning, isn't it? Everybody up here has kind of got plans when they're going to fight next, but anything could happen in that ring. We know May 20th, Taylor Serrano will be in Ireland, and you are scheduled to be co-main event that night. Does that play on your mind going into this fight? You want to come out of this, obviously with a victory, but without niggles or without injuries, and, and if you can, I guess you want to get this done early. Of course, like... Uh I come to, I've come to bring excitement and bring entertainment every time. I just heard Chev say he doesn't go in to knock people out, he goes into box, but I come in to take your head off, and uh, it's going to be no different on Saturday night. I'm coming in there, no disrespect to Wilfredo Flores, but I believe I'm on a different level, and I'm coming in there to take his head off on Saturday night. Well, we look forward to a great fight between Gary Cully and Wilfredo Flores. We go to our co-main event, Dalton Smith against Billy Allington for the British super lightweight title en route to try and win this tremendous belt outright against the English champion, Billy Allington. A lot of hype around Dalton Smith, another man where people are talking about headlining Sheffield Arena, headlining Hillsborough, but very focused on a big fight for his career on Saturday. Billy, we'll start with you. I guess a lot of people talking about what might be next for Dalton Smith, but you look very focused, look great at a workout last night. I've got loads of DMs from your fans who are coming up as well. This is a big moment for you and something you've worked very hard for. Um, yeah, I want to say firstly thank you. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be here. Um, and yeah, like what you said, I've got a lot of um, people that, that want to see me do well, and that's, that's a blessing in itself. Um, I'm very well prepared, and, and you know, I'm earned my strides by becoming the English champion, Southern Area champion um, on the small shows. And I'm excited to be here and, uh, you know, challenge myself to um, be the best capability I can on. Saturday night. We've come very well prepared and I've got a great team and I'm very, very grateful for that as well. Yeah, two days out, obviously, like you said, this is your opportunity which you've earned, area titles, English titles, it's a national pro nat natural progression. But Saturday night, something really different. How excited are you to box on that stage? I mean, sometimes it's daunting, sometimes it can raise a fighter's performance to another level and speaking to you, I get the impression that the latter could be the case. Uh, the magnitude of this event just, just uh, is, is very exciting. And um, if, if you ask me when I was a 13 year old boy starting out, would I make it to it? I'd probably say, I, I don't know. Let's see what happens, you know, because life, what's happening when you're making other plans, isn't it? And this is where I'm at now, and I'm ready to uh, take my opportunity Saturday with both fans, become the new British champion. You have got Dalton Smith in front of you. He's a tremendous young fighter, a lot of hype around him as well. I know he's focused on Saturday, but some might say, looking at what might be next as well, you have to take him to difficult places on Saturday night to win this fight. It's going to be difficult for you as well, but prepared to do whatever it takes to, to win that Lonsdale belt on Saturday. Absolutely. It's an honour to fight for the title, and I'm more than capable of, um, of upsetting the odds here. Um, I believe in myself, my team believe in me, and, and this is why we're here. We're here for a reason. Um, and, you know, Dawn is a good fighter. I'm not, not going to say no. He's, he's no good. Of course he is, but as a champion, we want to fight other champions and challenge ourselves to get the best out of ourselves, and that's how we grow as people and humans. So uh, I'm excited. I've got about 100 people coming up to watch me, and that, you know, that touches me as well. So let's have a good night Saturday. Thanks, Billy. Dalton, one thing's for sure, a hungry opponent looking to take what you've got, what you earn and what you work for, the British title, and so much potential beyond that as well. I know people talking about what might be next, but you are 100% focused on Billy Allington on Saturday night. Yeah, and I think just seeing Billy come in, I know he's hungry, he's probably got the best well-dressed award, and I think he's gave you a run for your money today, Eddie, so... Um, but no, I don't overlook anybody, and you know, I know Billy's coming with big intentions, and... You know, I don't overlook anybody and, you know, I've heard it, you know, in my previous fights, people thinking I'm overlooking people and believe me, I don't do that. Um, I just focus on the job in front of me and, and, and that's the fight on Saturday night. Um, and I've got to turn up, be 100% and get the job done in style. With the hype comes the target and with the target comes fighters who raise their game. You know, Billy, like he said, he's won area titles, he's won English titles. He's the guy who gets the British title shot through going through that. You expect the very best of him on Saturday night and a young, hungry fighter that's going to do everything he can to try and win. Of course, we're going to expect, we're going to see probably the best um, Billy he, and, he, what he's, and the best performances out of his career. It's a big opportunity for him and, you know, it's, it's, 
he's coming to try and upset the odds and you know I'm not going to let that happen um, you know I'm fully focused I've had a good, a good camp and I can just keep on improving improving every, every fight and um, I feel like I'm becoming into a, a good young solid man now um, and I just can't wait to show you all on Saturday night Again, huge support from Sheffield travelling to watch you fight. When you fight, it'll be around 9, 9.30, co-main event. There'll be 9,000 in the arena. The kind of nights, the kind of stages that you want, and obviously filling up that Sheffield arena is the plan for spring, summer. But firstly, great atmosphere, great show, and be nice and full when you enter that ring on Saturday. Yeah, it's going to be unbelievable. And, you know, the support for me is just getting bigger and bigger. And, you know, I was here for my debut back on um, Lee's undercard back in 2019.